So where do I begin? Uh, this uh, talking about uh, the list wrong. It acts like a cult because it started as a, a rationality forum where Yukovsky, the founder, basically had like a, like a blog where others started participating. One of the other person was Star Slater Codex, yeah, and who then broke out to make its own blog. He was a psychiatrist, so he had some of the psychological elements and stuff with that. And there are others, so it's, I mean, there are like, it has all the works of like a pseudo religion kind of a cult. So it has the kind of whole lifestyle around like life hacks and biofeedback and talking about, you know, the extropian side of things like immortality, how to life extension and all that. It even has from an economic side, it has the kind of a libertarianism where, uh, you know, any problems of, uh, of governance of like law or politics could be cast as some sort of incentive or some kind of economic problem that machine mechanism design and these things can solve. And so ultimately engineers could build tools around it once economics figured out, you know, the theory behind it kind of. So, and it is like, you know, apart from Yukowski, uh, there's also Julia Galef who applies the Thomas uh, basis, like the Bayesian uh, theorem. And which is ironic because and as a side note, Reverend Thomas Bayes, the gentleman who came up with that, was a Presbyterian, yeah, a priest, a theologian, who came up with a way to do ontological proof of God's existence. And his way was, he theorizes um, what is, came to be known as Bayes' theorem, and this is why it has all the hallmarks of Protestant theology, uh, like underpinnings, the belief, uh, the centrality of belief, that is in Protestantism, which was not the case before in Christianity. I mean, not in Catholicism. It has become standard now in all religious conversations, but it was not the case. And this is why in base thing, we have this belief and updating belief based on prayers and things like that. Like all of it is just like a Protestant uh, proof for like ontological proof for uh, a Protestant God. And, and so they repurposed that. And it became quite popular in the kind of rationalist because the idea of like a rational actor so yeah i mean it is like things that has taken from the kind of religious peers uh, like Bayesianism and everything and even rationality because in terms of his dependence on the idea of reason and that goes back to logos that's a very even a christian even more before the greek idea about that and the whole lifestyle around it so the way they would um fill their life up with all kinds of apps and all kinds of services and like they would multitask they would get into a habit of like rationalists would not waste their time listening to like this in normal speed they would speed up make it 1.5 times or two times you know and they would not just listen to it they would listen to it as a podcast not as a video so they could also like do some other things cook and if you're really rationalist you would not even cook you would have silence so you can save the time about that so it's about like optimizing the time you have because that's the most rational thing because you want to maximize the gains in whatever you're doing in some way and even thinking in terms of governance as i was saying like it's a problem of coordination to be solved by game theory you know that that's that, that's all the, the part of like this is why many of the pioneering many of the ideas that you see in, in the design uh choices and design principles in crypto has been pioneered, invented, theorized in less wrong or the circles around it. So many of the founding people in crypto have come from there or they gravitated later towards there once they knew about it. So the specter of less wrong uh, is I'm, rationality in general, of course, with extropianism is always there. I mean, I'm, extropianism, I mean, the whole crypto uh, theme of like having a property that doesn't depend on the on the highs and the lows of which state has what legitimacy but rather every it's so-called internal legitimacy so it's like becomes a money that can or kind of an asset that keeps its value store of value for thousands of years it's key because if you want to have like the extropians one life extension where you live forever you want to have property that allows you to live to afford to live forever and so this is where the life liberty property also becomes like a life also becomes a matter of 
property because you earn to live and what better way than crypto uh, and also you can tokenize yourself when you like upload your consciousness to the cloud thing tech singularity and liberty is also a matter of again the game theory rationality it becomes a property that some people have liberty and if you can pay enough you can have the liberty that others don't liberty and dream and liberty is liber then so and property is property so it's like life liberty property becomes property 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 so it's all like not all like less wrong or rationality proper but see the family of things where less strong is one of the prominent members in that family all these lifestyles ideas things it's like it's like christianity it's difficult there are many schisms of christianity but they're all part of the same family like the kind of judeo-christian kind of theology you know so this is a kind of another offshoot of that they have their own like rationality proto-rationality family of different things less wrong slur state codex certain strands of like right libertarianism and things like that